my name is Austin Figueroa. I'm the head of business development at Rainmaker Solutions. Alrighty, what do you want to talk about? I started racing when I was eight years old. Uh, you know, my dad was into it since I was born, and then I followed right in his footsteps when I was eight. Race small, little cars, all primarily dirt track, and then when I was 13, uh, got an offer to race semi-professionally. Did that for a number of years, and then when I was 17, stepped up to full-size uh, sprint cars, 360, 410 sprint cars. I also raced USAC midgets, did Chili Bowl, and then when I was 18, 19, uh, you know, just through my sponsorship deals, uh, through a company called Ironclad, which is a, an apparel company that had sponsored me since I was 10, Ed Jager, the founder and CEO of that company, moved on from Ironclad, had an idea for a new technology dealing in hydration, and then you know showed that to me, and I was really interested, uh, really intrigued in it, just for my own personal use uh, in my competition, and helped develop it, helped create some of the components, and then really uh, developing the company to where it is today. And actually, today, December 15th, uh, marks my six years since I came on board with Rainmaker, and you know looking back at it, couldn't change it any other way. My dad, Angel, uh, he was born in Hermosillo, Sonora, and came here when he was very young, under the age of one, moved to El Segundo, California. He became a mechanic, worked on cars his entire life, grew up uh, riding motorcycles. With, um, you know, with that, you know, transitioned into racing four-wheel cars, um, and then that's how it really progressed into you know, my interest in motorsports and mechanics and working on cars and my passion and love for just you know anything with the motor in it. Fluid Logic, that's really our first system, our first product. It's a completely hands-free, thought-free hydration system. Really, you know, day-to-day -day life business is nothing but challenges, right? You know, there's always nothing but hurdles and issues and you know things that make you want to throw in the towel and make you want to give up, but really, you know. Doing it six years now in, in the, you know, the motorsports industry and you know, starting a company, it's really about perseverance and just every challenge is you know, a new opportunity. And the one thing that I've always learned, I learned this at a very young age just trying to find sponsorship is you know, sitting on the couch or hanging out at home, nothing bad ever happened, right? But nothing great ever came out of it. And when I got home from school and I got up and I just said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go visit this business or I'm gonna go visit Ed or I'm gonna go you know, see if I can inquire about sponsorship with this person. And whenever I did that, maybe it didn't go to plan, but the best things happened for that. And you know, really it's, you can never, you always plan for the best things, you hope for them too, right? But really the best opportunities are really something that you can't plan for and they just kind of come spur of the moment. Really the, the most important thing is to find something that you enjoy and especially nowadays, I mean there's so many more ways that you can educate yourself outside of a curriculum, you know, with the internet and you know, with YouTube and researching yourself. There's just such a wealth of information out there and there's even some really credible professors and engineers and people, you know, with their trades that have done 30, 40 years in that and a lot of them, you know, have all their information out there on the internet and you can really learn a tremendous amount from that. So I would definitely, that's definitely one thing that I've always done is just really self-taught myself a lot of things and I continue to do that, you know, day in and day out. <laughs>